The first station, Jesus is condemned to death, environmental destruction. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We experience the heartlessness and injustice of Jesus' condemnation. He who has done no wrong. The pace of environmental destruction is increasing. Natural resources are depleted. Toxics are polluting our environment. Animals and plants are becoming extinct, and people are being poisoned. Earth dries up and withers. The world languishes and withers. The heavens languish together with Earth. Earth lies polluted under its inhabitants, for they have transgressed laws, violated the statutes, broken the everlasting covenant. The cross in all of creation. As God cares for all of creation, we are called into a loving relationship with all. In alienating ourselves from earth, we separate ourselves from God and one another. We're called to reconciliation with all of creation. The second station, Jesus takes up the cross. Our role in earth's devastation. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We experience through Jesus his disappointment, pain, weariness, and suffering. Our human role in Earth's devastation has become an urgent question, unique to our place in history. The fate of Earth is in our hands. He came and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The cross in all of creation. On the one hand, we gaze in wonder at the world. On the other hand, we are wasting the world. These are signs of our Earth's times and should be filled with meaning for people of faith. But the odd thing is that with some notable exceptions, Many religious people and the church as a whole are curiously silent about the earth. We are like the disciples asleep in the Garden of Gethsemane while earth undergoes its passion and death. The third station, Jesus falls the first time, the most vulnerable first of collapse. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Caring for God's creation and working for justice with people who are poor are inseparable missions in today's world. Speak out for those who cannot speak, for the rights of all the destitute. Speak out, judge righteously, and defend the rights of the poor and needy. The cross in all of creation. The decision of a major U.S. garment corporation to produce jeans in Lesotho, Africa, promised to boost the economy of one of the world's poorest nations. Before long, tons of dangerous waste was being dumped into municipal landfills, where child rag pickers fight for scraps among denim, needles, razor, and harmful chemicals. The dumps are always on fire, spewing toxic chemicals into the air. And the river, which is used for cooking water and bathing, has turned blue and is full of chemical effluents. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother, Earth as mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the beginning, Mary shared the life of her son, including the awakening to his call and the dangers of speaking against oppression and injustice. Praise be you, God, through our sister, Mother Earth, who sustains and governs us and who produces various fruit with colored flowers and herbs. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains. The cross in all of creation. In our way of life, with every decision we make, 
We always keep in mind the seventh generation of children to come. When we walk upon Mother Earth, we always plant our feet carefully because we know that the faces of future generations are looking up at us from beneath the ground. We never forget that. The fifth station, Simon is recruited to help Jesus. Live simply so others may simply live. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. Simon is pressed into helping Jesus carry the cross. Our modern lifestyle puts a heavy burden on earth. But God has so arranged the body, each one of them as God chose. If one member suffers, all suffer together with it. If one member is honored, all rejoice together with it. The cross in all of creation. The true cost of living the modern lifestyle is not measured by what we pay at the cash register. Rather, it is measured by what we do to the rivers, valleys, oceans, and land. Whatever we do to earth, we do to ourselves and the most vulnerable among us. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. How do we wipe the face of the earth? We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In spite of the anger and rejection of Jesus by the crowd, Veronica was strong and courageous enough to minister to Jesus with gentleness and compassion. If we learn to love earth, we will find labyrinths, gardens, fountains, and precious jewels. A whole new world will open itself to us. We will discover what it means to be truly alive. God blessed them and said, bear fruit, increase your numbers, and fill the earth and be responsible for it. Watch over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things on earth. The cross in all creation. A community of 100 citizens of Stella, Illinois, practices sustainable living in its use of solar energy, community gardening, farming, and co cooperative utility plants. Their commitment to conservation is an example of compassionate care for the earth. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time, the extinction of species. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In the face of violence and derision, Jesus falls again. In the last quarter of the 20th century, 20% 20 of all living species have become extinct. Places have had to change their official trees, animals, or flowers. There are no chestnuts on Chestnut Lane, no caribou in Caribou, Maine. For every animal of the forest is mine, beasts by the thousands on my mountains. I know every bird of the heavens, the creatures of the field belong to me. The cross in all of creation. When these living beings, these magnificent plants and animals go extinct, they never come back again. We are killing birth itself, wiping out the future of our fellow creatures who took millions of years to evolve. We live in a time of great dying off. The eighth station, women of Jerusalem weep, weeping water. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross you have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. We read that women beat their breasts and lamented over Jesus. The wondrous cycle of Earth's life-giving water unites all of creation. Disregard for water conservation is threatening life in every corner of the globe. Parched deserts and cities, destroyed wetlands, contaminated waterways, and dying children and animals. 
2.5 billion people in the world lack access to safe water and basic sanitation. Take up weeping and wailing for the mountains and a lamentation for the pastures of the wilderness because they are laid to waste. Nakwetikia of Tanzania used to have to collect scarce polluted water for her family. The situation here used to be bleak. There was no water and we had to dig pits to find some. Can you imagine what it was like? My legs used to shake with fear before climbing down those holes. There was no choice. If I didn't get water, my family couldn't eat, wash, or even have a drink. A recent water development project funded by an international NGO now provides safe, clean water for Neketwika and her family. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time, gasping for air. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus' body and spirit were being broken, yet he struggled to continue his march. Earth's atmosphere is gasping for breath, choked by contamination and pollution. An estimated quarter of the world's population is exposed to unhealthy concentrations of air pollutants. Nearly two million children under five years of age die annually from acute respiratory infections. The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of God gives me life. My name is Rajana Jackson, and I am six years old. I have trouble breathing all of the time. When I am sleeping, I have to use a breathing machine and the doctors are surprised I can't get better. I live in Mossville and it has big plants that spit fire and toxins. I see lots of sick people and I ask my mother why. Mossville, Louisiana is surrounded by 14 industrial facilities including the largest concentration of vinyl production facilities, an oil refinery, a coal-fired power plant, and several petroleum manufacturers. The 10th station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. Deforestation. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. The world. The last vestige of dignity is taken away from Jesus. He is totally demeaned and vulnerable. Almost half of the forests that once covered the earth are gone. The acceleration of global deforestation leaves ecosystems vulnerable and degrades Earth's atmosphere. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. The cross in all of creation. Dorothy Stang, a sister of Notre Dame de Namur, went to Brazil in 1966 to be with the peasants as a spiritual guide and advocate. Her journey for justice ended on February 12, 2005, when she was murdered for working to save the Amazon rainforest from overlogging and supporting poor farmers who were being driven from their land. She was laid to rest among her people under a mango tree with a promise of hope that they were not burying her, but they were planting her and her spirit of care for our earth community would be a part of them forever. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross, dependence on fossil fuels. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After having been tortured on his way to his death, Jesus is crucified, the worst form of execution in the Roman Empire. 
Fossil fuel dependence causes environmental devastation and fuels war and conflict. I am glad to be a living demonstration of Christ's power. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The less I have, the more I depend on God. The cross in all of creation. Buried below the boreal forest of northern Alberta, Canada, is one of the world's largest oil deposits known as the tar sands. Extracting the oil comes at great environmental costs, including greenhouse gas emissions, toxic leaking, diversion and consumption of natural water resources, and habitat devastation. The Canadian boreal forest provides climate regulation and carbon storage for Earth. Its ecosystem is the breeding grounds for over 30% of North American birds. The 12th station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Luke tells us the sun was hidden and darkness came over the whole land until mid-afternoon. And at that time, the curtain of the sanctuary was torn in two. Then Jesus gave a loud cry, Abba, I commit my spirit into your hands. And after he said that, he gave up his spirit. There are times when all seems lost, even to those of us who are most optimistic. To whom and to what do we turn in these darkest days? Therefore the land mourns, and all who live in it languish. Together with the wild animals and the birds of the air, even the fish of the sea are perishing. The 13th station. Jesus is taken down. Hope. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus down from the cross and wrapped it in a clean linen sheet. Joseph, in spite of the violent mood surrounding him, was bold enough to ask for the body of his beloved friend. Despite the challenge, there are many people in the world today courageously taking action to renew their covenant with earth. Our God is bringing us into a good land. All will be satisfied. We awaken from our dullness and rise vigorously towards justice. If we fall in love with creation deeper and deeper, we will respond to the endangerment with passion. The 14th station, Jesus is buried, buried seeds. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea laid Jesus in his own tomb, which had been hewn from rock formation. We wait with eager anticipation for the coming of a sustainable future for all of creation. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in their field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. The cross in all of creation. As the bread and wine are transformed into the body and blood of Christ for our nourishment, we are challenged to promote this harmony between humans and the rest of creation by the way we live our lives. The 15th station, the resurrection, new earth. Mary Magdalene came to Jesus' tomb on Sunday morning to offer respect to the dead. To her wondrous surprise, the tomb was empty and her teacher was calling her by name. Mary Magdalene, who must have experienced profound grief, perhaps remorse, was now offered hope and new life. 
Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. The cross in all of creation. Another world is not only possible, she is on her way. On a quiet day, I can hear her breathing. Thank you. 